What word do you feel you use too much when you're writing and then you go back and you look at it and go, oh, I keep using that word. What word? Or words. Many. Huh. Probably staggers. Oh, really? No, it's really random. But like, you know, when it comes to writing, like I'm very uh, anal retentive about like which verbs I pick, you know? Because like strong verbs are visual and they're, they're active and, you know, uh, a lot of times like that can eliminate the need for an adverb so you just pick a really strong verb so it'll be like bob staggers into the room and stumbles over a couch or something like that you know and then i'll go back i'm like i use staggers and stumbles a lot i should probably like find another verb for that i know it sounds really weird and really random but like I've noticed that in a lot of my first drafts, I'll use the word staggers a lot. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I picture like John Wayne staggers out of the saloon, right? <laughs> throws a cigarette down and get me another whiskey or to something. To the howl of wind. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. Interesting. Okay, so that seems to be a favorite word, but then you try to take it away because you see you use it too yeah, much. Yeah, I use it too much. Um, I also, uh, I probably, well, I don't, no, no, I don't know if you can, but like in, in screenwriting in particular, I like, I use so many double dashes, it's crazy. Um, and double dashes is not a word, but like I, I feel like if you were to just find and replace double dashes, it would like probably make the computer explode. There's just too many of them. Um, but I like it because it like forces me to, you know, embrace white space and all that good stuff. But I, uh, but yeah, probably staggers. Interesting. What words do you feel are overused? in writing today huh overused uh pretty but doesn't know it like that's a phrase <laughs> not not a particular word but I, that's great. I i think that phrase gets used a lot like mm -hmm. she's pretty but doesn't know it and it's like i don't know what that means like i don't i don't know what that means and that's a very like male perspective of you know what i mean but but i see that a lot in in that's scripts true. is pretty but doesn't know it um, a woman would say, pretty, but she's nice. Right, pretty, but she's nice. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I see that phrase used a lot. Um, you know, I've, I've actually tried to, uh, in the last like uh, year or so, make my scripts more conversational instead of more like writerly, if that makes sense. Like the writerly in the sense of like the words are scrutinized of, of like what words appear on the page and what words, more importantly, what words don't appear on the page. But I try my best to like almost make it like Justin's telling you a story because, you know, a lot of times like the, you know, I hate to say this, but most people don't read anymore. You know what I mean? It's like really hard to get people to read, uh, to read anything, even like your close friends. It's really hard to get people to read. And I get it. I get it because like we're, we're all so busy with things that to actually carve and set aside long stretches of time, especially to read a screenplay that's like 100 words, 100, I mean, sorry, 100 pages, 120 pages sometimes, which is pretty long these days. So I try to make the, the script as fun to read as possible. So, so if I'm fortunate enough and somebody sits down and reads my script, they're like, oh, it kind of felt like you were talking to me. And it kind of felt like a friend was telling you a story. So I've tried to do that more and I've, I've had a modicum of success with that, but I, uh, yeah. So when you say you, you try to make it less writerly, is that the dialogue, it, it was just, it's more like grunts, like, eh, yeah, it's okay, instead of like, yes, I had a wonderful time. Yeah, yeah, like I, I definitely try to make the, the dialogue, because like, you know, I, there's some, there's a lot of different modes of thought of like, oh, a character should never repeat themselves, or, you know, something like that. But the reality is people repeat themselves all the time. You know, uh, like in the middle of, of talking, like sometimes people can repeat themselves. And so like what I do a lot of times, is, and this is, comes from my, my theater degree, my theater background, is like I actually say the dialogue out loud and whatever I say that feels normal, I write that down. So if there are ums and ahs in it and those ums and ahs feel natural and feel like that's how this per particular person would say it, I write them in it, into the actual dialogue. And I think that like if, you know, if I'm doing my job properly, it should feel like these are actual human beings talking because an actual human being said that. <laughs> you know, and I think sometimes when you become, uh, sometimes you can be too writerly in the sense that the dialogue can sometimes be too clean and too sterile to a degree where it feels like it's written instead of something that should be experienced, if that makes sense. So I've tried to like allow myself that freedom and that 
you know, I don't, I don't know if I've, I can say I've earned that luxury yet, but I, I feel that that works for me. Do you have a favorite dialogue scene in a movie that you just love the dialogue? It's just perfect. You know, like, some people say, well, Harry, when Harry met Sally or, you yeah, know, yeah, whatever yeah. they have. Yeah, that's I'm great. I'm myself with that one. Sorry. Um, oh, that's, that's, that's a really great question. Um, the Apartment is one of my favorite movies ever, ever made. And, uh, you know, the... I've always loved, there's like a scene where like uh, Jack Lennon and uh, Shirley MacLaine are like, uh, he's putting on a bowler hat. And, th and in that scene, there's a moment where he like flips, flips open this uh, compact and the compact is, is shattered. And because it's shattered, he knows that like, oh, that girl that I have a crush on, my boss also likes. And in that moment, and like the dialogue in that scene is so witty and so charming and so beautiful, but also it's heartbreaking because like he's still trying to, the second that he realizes that Shirley MacLaine, he probably can't have her in that moment, that's what he's feeling. He still like keeps his conversation like, you know, light and witty, but he's feeling pain while he's doing that. And I've always loved that scene in particular. Um, I also love the dialogue in uh, Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, like, like there's a scene where like Don Cheadle is, is trying to sell this guy this, uh, this stereo system and he's got like this, this country twang and it's, it's amazing. It is so good. And uh, to me though, like those characters just feel lived in, they feel real, they feel uh, very specific to what they are. Um, in the degree of like, they are, uh, they're just memorable. And I really, really like stuff like that. So I don't know if that answered the question or not. But.